Your fans are supposed to be on your side, right? Well, not for these celebrities. With that in mind, here's our list of the top 10 celebrities who were exposed by their fans. Number 10, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil is best known for hosting the talk show Dr. Phil, and one of the most viral moments from his show is from a young guest, Danielle Bergoli, also known as Bad Baby, when she said the catchphrase, catch me outside, how about that? She was treating her mother horribly, and she was sent to a wilderness program at Turnabout Ranch. She was sent for six months after her appearance when she was 13 years old. Wilderness programs, also known as the troubled teen industry, are places that are designed to provide participants with a series of physical challenging outdoor activities designed to prevent or reduce delinquent behavior. While the idea of wilderness programs might sound great, former students who call themselves survivors have begun to create online communities to support one another and speak out on their horrific experiences, claiming they suffered mistreatment at the camps and were left with PTSD, some even taking their own lives afterwards. Bad Baby spoke out about her horrors on March 19, 2021, after she was inspired to share her story after a woman named Hannah Archuleta came forward in February 2021, saying that she was essayed by a staff member at the facility after she appeared on The Dr. Phil Show in 2019 when she was 17 years old. Bad Baby shared an eight minute long video on social media where she broke her silence about the she experienced and witnessed at Turnabout Ranch. Number nine, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is an actor best known for the National Lampoon's vacation movies. Unfortunately, he has garnered a reputation for being difficult to work with as there are countless accounts of him being disrespectful to coworkers, so it shouldn't be that shocking to hear that he was rude to a fan. Actor and comedian Rob Kubel was a longtime fan of Chevy and recounted an experience he had when meeting him for the first time. He met Chevy and told him about how he was such a big fan. Now, a normal person would be appreciative and thank the fan, but oh no. How did Chevy respond? He slapped Rob. Chevy tried to make a joke out of it and said, can't you see him talking to somebody, kid? But regardless if he was interrupted and was talking to someone, slapping someone, especially someone who adores you, is not the right move. Number eight, Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow is an actress and businesswoman. She has her own company called Goop, which is a wellness and lifestyle brand. In 2019, Goop had a UK wellness summit where fans paid $6,000 to meet her. That is just an insane amount to begin with, but with paying that much, you'd assume you'd have a really good experience, right? Well, not for these fans. Those who attended said that Gwyneth hardly made appearances, and when she did, she was surrounded by security. Security. One attendee said Gwyneth acts like she's a health goddess, but actually she's a pretentious, greedy extortionist. She had a ton of security, she was unapproachable, she did the minimum with a few fireside chats with Twiggy and Penelope Cruz, then she put on her Birkenstocks and snuck out. I was a huge fan of Gwyneth, now I feel like I have lost my faith in God. Those at the event that weekend were urged to book rooms through Goop at $1,300 for two nights at the Kimpton Frizroy London Hotel, but some later discovered that the rates that weekend started at $250 a night. Safe to say, a lot of fans felt scammed and betrayed, and I can't blame them. Number 7, Taylor Caniff. Taylor Caniff is an internet personality known for being on YouTube and Vine. He was best known for being a part of the boy social media group, MagCon. In 2014, Taylor was exposed for throwing out gifts his fans gave him. One of his fans on Twitter exposed him by posting photos of a dumpster outside a meet and greet event. The dumpster was filled with gifts he received and she tweeted at him saying at Taylor Kniff threw his fans gifts out and stuff they made him away in a dumpster across the street after his event. Afterwards, many fans tweeted at him telling him how angry and upset they were that he threw them out due to people spending their time and money on him. He first responded saying, no huge gift guys, I thought it was common sense but there are some huge idiots out there. I'm sorry I can't fit 400 teddy bears on an RV. He then promptly delivered deleted the tweet due to the backlash, and yeah, I don't think calling your fans idiots is really a good look. He then went on to tweet that he does everything for his fans and that he loves them. Then, just like that, he was forgiven. But his social media career has tanked since
since 2014. Number six, James Charles. James Charles is an MUA social media influencer. James has been caught up in many scandals, but today we're gonna talk about him having an inappropriate relationship with a minor. Well, he has done it uh, multiple times, but we're covering one of the many incidents. A 15 year old TikToker came forward and released a clip in which he shared screenshots of his conversations with James Charles on Snapchat. First off, why was he ever messaging someone that young? But they flirted with each other, and when the TikToker posted their conversations, James became enraged and said, I strongly recommend that you keep my name out of your mouth or we're going to have a major problem. I'd love to remind you that you were the one who called me cute and said you were bisexual and into me. Classic case of victim blaming, and he was mad that he got caught. James tried to clear up the situation, but since it's happened multiple times, I don't think he truly understands what he's done wrong. Number five, Ned Fielmer. Ned has been a part of the group The Try Guys for many years, but he was kicked out this year when it was discovered that he was cheating on his wife Arielle with one of its producers, Alex Herring. A fan posted on Instagram a photo with her and Ned captioning it that she saw Ned and Alex together at a Harry Styles concert at the beginning of September. Rumors and proof were gathered and it was discovered that the affair had been going on for a while. After all this was exposed, another TikToker came forward saying that she spotted Ned kissing another woman and that she had some videos and photos of them. She said she messaged Ned's wife Arielle to make her aware but Ariel never saw the messages. Due to all the buzz online, an internal investigation was conducted and Ned was removed from the company in 2022. His fans found everything and he paid the price. Number four, James Corden. James Corden is best known as the host of The Late Late Show with James Corden and him being the creator of Carpool Karaoke. Now, in October 2022, he was exposed for being rude and demanding at a restaurant and was temporarily banned from there. In an Instagram post, Keith McNally, the owner of a celebrity hotspot, Balthazar, explained how James had berated his employees on multiple occasions and called him James addressed this saying, the truth is I have made a rude, rude comment and it was wrong. It was an unnecessary comment. It was ungracious to the server. Fans were upset about hearing how he treated the staff and it seemed like everything got pushed under the rug pretty quickly. But a Twitter user was quick to remind everyone of the incident months later saying, guys, remember when James Corden was rude AF to the restaurant for no reason at all this year and he had the nerve to go on TV and pull the victim card. Number three, Justin Bieber. Now, this is just a funny story, though Justin has had some questionable interactions with fans. In August 2012, Justin was lurking on a gym's Instagram page when he noticed a female employee. He attempted to track down the girl who caught his eye via social media, but he went about it in a very particular and roundabout way. He messaged the gym's Instagram page saying, who is this girl in your latest post? It was 22 year old Jessica Gober who took screenshots of the messages and posted them to Twitter for the world to see. She was shocked when she saw the messages and said, we were like, how in the world did he see this random post? We only had 70 followers and had posted five times previous to this. She said she never expected the message to go viral. Some fans told her she completely ruined her chances with him posting the screenshots and they're right, she could have been the next Mrs. Bieber. What a shame. Number two, James Franco. James Franco is an actor and filmmaker who has starred in The Interview, Pineapple Express, and Spider-Man. In April 2014, James Franco got very creepy as he slid into a 17 year old girl's DMs via Instagram. The girl, Lucy, met James outside the stage doors for Of Mice and Men on Broadway, which he was starring in at the time. He took an Instagram video with her, telling her, you gotta tag me. Lucy did, and James began messaging her. She told him she was under age, 17, but he didn't back off. Due to this, Lucy took screenshots of the conversation, and James promptly landed in hot water. Some messages including him asking what hotel she was staying at, and if he should rent a room for the both of them. Both messages he sent were after her saying she was still 17 by the way. The messages were posted and James responded to the scandal via his own Instagram saying, I hope parents keep their teens away from me. Thank you. He later deleted the post, but on Live with Kelly and Michael, he admitted to demonstrating poor judgment. And coming in at number one is David Dobrik. David Dobrik, the vlogging king. David Dobrik is a famous YouTuber who started out on the app Vine. David was loved by many, myself included at one point, and he was one of the biggest social media stars out there. David would film his friends, referred to as the vlog squad, and one member, Dom Z Gladys, also known as Dirty Dom, was problematic and brought on the downfall of David. 
Dom has been known to take advantage of young girls, and one time David was in the midst of it. An insider report published on November 3rd, 2021, said a former fan came forward about an experience she had. The now 22 year old woman says her and her friends first went to the Vlog Squad apartment where Dom lived in 2017 after David posted on Snapchat asking for girls 18 and over to be extras in a vlog. The second time she went to the apartment, she and Dom argued, going back and forth, which can be seen in the vlog until he tries to tackle her. The vlog cuts before he makes contact, but the full footage shows him trapping her in the corner of a hallway and humping her. David can be heard repeating stop, stop, stop and pulling Dom off her. Also in 2021, a woman featured on David's channel said she was SA'd by Dom in 2018, the night they filmed a video about group sex. Trisha Paytas, an ex-member of the vlog squad, claimed David asked her then boyfriend Jason Nash to purchase alcohol for the women as they were under 21 and could not purchase it for themselves.